So hi everyone, my name's Kaylee. I play Rapunzel in Ohio University Lancaster's production of Into the Woods. And I'm gonna go through a little bit of a tutorial on my makeup for the show. So I love to start with my eyes because in case I mess up, it's way easier to take off. Um, so I start with eyelid primer, like, um, so I start with eyelid primer and then I use a combination of two palettes. I use the ColourPop Blush Crush and the NYX Ultimate Palette. Um, they just reformulated this, but I have the old kind. Apparently the new one's better, but it's a lot more shimmer and not as much matte. So I'm really glad I got the old palette because I like shimmer, but I don't like shimmery eyeshadows. I like shimmery liquid eyeshadows. So I start with going in with a more mauve -y color. So I'm using that color right there. Um, and I do that all over my crease, just to kind of put a foundational, like medium tone color. So. And then once I've done some of that, I go in with this lavender color right here and this color right there. So a kind of a mix of the two. And once again, this is focusing mainly on my crease. Um, but yeah, so. This is just making it a little bit more purple and less pink. And then I like to use my finger and do just that lavender color and make sure I really concentrate on my inner eye since I mainly focus on my crease. Um, then I take a little bit of a smaller brush and I go in with this dark purple in the end and I focus that on just the outer corner. So it gets kind of messy, but I will clean it up later. So once that's on and they are kind of even, I will go in with a big fluffy brush and take a little bit of that lavender color and just use it to kind of blend out the darker colors that I just used. And then once I kind of am liking how it looks, I'll go in with, this is e.l.f. liquid eyeshadow. It's like a dupe for the Stila one. Um, I like the price of these a lot better because if it's going to dry out, I want something that is not going to break my bank account. Um, and then I just take this and put it on the inside corner of my eye, trying to concentrate it on mainly just up until like the front part of my lashes. Um, and then I take a big fluffy blender again and just kind of blend it and just retouch everything once I've so once I've retouched that my eyeshadow looks like this um just making All right, and now that we're starting my base, I'm gonna talk a little bit about Rapunzel um, and who she is. So I know a lot of people will know who Rapunzel is from Tangled. Um, if anyone is like me, it is one of my favorite Disney movies. I've seen it a million times. Um, but this take of Rapunzel is a little different. So it's more focused on the Rapunzel from the Grimm Brothers fairy tale. Um, so it is a little bit of a darker version of Rapunzel than what you might be used to. And I love it. I love how I get to play a princess, but at the same time, um, really get to explore how a princess would act outside of a stereotypical fairy tale. Um because Rapunzel, she kind of spends the whole first half of the movie, of, not the movie, sorry, of the musical locked away in a tower, as you all know. Um, but it's once she starts to want independence and she really wants to explore the outside that 
everything starts happening to her and she grows up a lot and I just I love that journey that she goes on to of growing up and becoming her own person away from her mother the witch um it's just it's so fun to get to portray that and get to go on that journey with your with the rest of the cast um because I actually this is my second time performing Rapunzel um I did it once in high school and now that I'm in graduate school for performance um I've learned so much more about performing and so I get to take another spin at this character and not a lot of people get to perform a role twice so it's a very very cool thing that I get to do and I'm very excited to get to tell her story again in Into the Woods so um, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of concealer this is the pat no Patrick Ta no I don't know it's some youtuber Patrick Star maybe um, his one size concealer which I absolutely love for stage makeup I also use the elf power grip primer which is amazing for stage makeup and then I use the L'Oreal true match foundation um so going in with my concealer but yeah I absolutely love Rapunzel and I'm very excited to get to perform as Rapunzel again um, I'm trying to think what probably my favorite moment of me performing in the show is doing stay with me with the witch who is played by uh Jen and Jen is, she is absolutely amazing. I love working with her. I feel like every time we get to perform, it's something new. Like we just add something new to the character and it's just such a touching song. And it really is the moment where Rapunzel finally stands up for herself and is like, no, like I want to grow up. I want to be my own person. And it's kind of dealing with that. I love you, but this isn't what's best for me anymore. So it's just, it's such a great, moment in the show it's probably my favorite moment that I'm in um favorite moment that I'm not in has to be it takes two um that the baker and the baker's wife sing I love that song I would love 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 to sing that song one day it is my favorite um I'm just going in with some contour products to kind of sculpt my face a little bit so um but this. So finishing sculpting my face. And then I go in with some liquid blush. I like to do a whole liquid base for stage makeup. And then I will go in with powder to set everything. Um, I think that the liquid helps it last longer. And then the powder on top just kind of sets everything in place. So instead of setting things with like powder foundation, I'll set my blush with powder blush. And I'll set my, um, I'll set my, bronzer with powder bronzer so everything kind of gets like double set and this is gonna um the one thing I really like about Rapunzel is like how much you can really lean into the pinks and purples because of her character and just like what she wears and everything and what she kind of identifies as as a princess um really resonates with like pinks and purples so I like to do my blush very intense um in stage makeup you always want it at least a little bit more intense than everyday life but when it comes to princesses I like to do a very intense look like I will probably leave it about this much which is pretty intense. I would not go out every day like this, but this is one of those occasions where you get to have some fun. So this is my base of my Korean makeup. So it looks like this, and then I'll be back for the powder. All right, so now we're on to powder products. Um, I'm just gonna start by setting my concealer and then I will get into another question. Um, all right, so now that I've kind of set my concealer, What do I think the audience is going to be most surprised by? I don't know. I definitely think, at least when I first saw this show, my biggest surprise was what, just not expecting the end of act one into two. It really threw me off. Um, so I'm excited to see everyone's reactions um, like at the end of Act 1. Because it's very, Act 1 is very conclusive. It ends and you're like, okay, I could go home now. 
Um, and then act two starts and everything kind of changes because actions have consequences and that's what the characters kind of discover is that their wishes that they wished for in act one have consequences and so things start unraveling and I think a lot of people will be surprised by the events that unravel if they haven't seen the show before. So I would say that's probably my biggest one. Um, yes, I'm William with more blush. This is the new um, Essence Pure Nude B Baked Blush and it is my absolute favorite blush. It is amazing. And then I also have the highlighter, the same Pure Nude Baked Highlighter. And it's also amazing. I'm trying to find my highlighting brush. Here it is. Um, And they have other colors that are a little bit more subtle if you're going for a subtle look. I am obviously not, but you do. Um, so yeah, and then now that I've kind of finished that, I'm gonna wipe off this crazy white powder. Go in, blend that a little bit more. And now we're gonna finish up my eyes. So I'm going back in with my original. I'm taking those dark two colors again and just carrying everything over to under my eyes to kind of connect it and make it seem more natural. So that. And then go in with some liquid liner. that I'm gonna do a wing um I'm not the best at wing liner so that's one eye done it looks like that I like a really big wing um so that you can see it So that's the eyeliner all done. And then I will just finish up the eye makeup with some mascara, which for some reason I can't find. Hmm. For some reason I'm, oh, there it is, okay. So I have the e.l.f. Lash and Roll, which is a dupe for the Benefit Cosmetics Roller Ball Lash. It's pretty good. Um, my biggest thing with stage makeup is I like to do drugstore because you use a lot of it. Um, so I just mainly use drugstore products. So finishing up these lashes and then um, I'll hit it with some bottom eyeliner, which I like to use this purple L'Oreal Pro Last in the shade purple, violet. And I will do that just to kind of tie everything in. So. Okay, so once I do that, I'll just add a tiny little bit more mascara on the bottom. Please ignore my mascara face. I'm sure everyone who wears makeup has one. <laughs> it's not very cute, but it gets the job done. All right, and then that is my eyes. So then I'm just gonna do my eyebrows. Um, I like to fill in my eyebrows a lot. <laughs> um, I have blonde-ish brown hair. It's wet right now. Um, but it's like blondish brown, so you can't really see my eyebrows very well, especially from stage. So I just like to go in with a micro brow pencil and just kind of go over everything real quick, just to make sure that they're visible. So. And then I do a little bit more in the front to make them stand out. So then I just kind of <laughs> pat them into place. I'm like, that looks pretty good. And that one looks pretty good. And then I go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills like eyebrow wand. And it, this one's clear. And I just run it through that so that they stay. And that is my eyes. So we'll be back for lips. All right, so we're on to my last step, which for me is lips. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about just this whole process and how much fun I've had. So um, this is my first show with OUL 
but not only is it my first show with OUL, it's also my first musical that I've done since high school, which hasn't been that long ago. Okay, I take that back. It's been like five years, so it's kind of been long ago. Um, but I went to school, I went to grad, undergrad and grad school for vocal performance. So mainly like operas and stuff like that. So I haven't actually gotten to do a musical since high school. And so this has just been so much fun to get to do a musical again and get to be a part of something bigger than myself and also do a show that I have already done, but I love, I love this show so much. And so to get to do it again and meet all these new people, like everyone has been absolutely amazing i love working with every single person in this cast everyone is so talented so funny this show is hilarious uh, they make me laugh like every single day i've made so many good friends and it's just been an amazing experience and the best way to spend my summer so i've just been really excited and happy and love coming to quote unquote work every day so i'm gonna finish this off with some lip liner i'm doing red lips they're both nyx this is very matte so yeah i'm not even gonna attempt to talk while i'm doing this so now that i've done my lip liner which i like to do a little bit in the center too not just the outsides um, I find it helps my lipstick to stay on. And then I'm gonna go in with my lip stick. And then just kind of cleaning it up. And then this is my final look. So I can't wait for y'all to come see the show. The tickets are in OUL's Facebook bio. And so I would love to see you all there. Come see Rapunzel and the rest of the cast. Bye guys.